Nigerians react as video of ex Anambra governor drinking bottled water surface inside ESS office surface online. Hello, my wonderful people. Yes, it's happening. Nigerians are reacting and are wondering what's going on with our very own, very own Willie. You know, um, the very day he handed over, he was on his way to the United States of America, where he was apprehended himself and his wife, you know, at the international airport, uh, Motola International Airport in Lagos, on his way out of the country. Nigerians as things reacted and everybody has been wondering, um, you know, what's going on. And they came up to say that, well, this guy <laughs> said he collected 48 billion Naira cash in one day. <laughs> and when they began to explain some things, I said, now, nah, wow, God, you will save us in Nigeria. I will not be smarting the happen on my people. Anyway, they bought the video of our very own brother drinking water in EFCC custody, you know, has appeared online and everybody's like, wow, guy, you're having a good time. Oh, uh -uh. You're having a very good time. Anyway, my people, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. What's really going on with him inside EFCC um, custody? Nigerians react as videos of ex Anambra governor drinking bottled water cooling off inside EFCC cell surfaced online. Activist and conveyor of consigned Nigeria, Deji Adenyoju, has shared a video of the immediate past gover governor of Anambra state, Willie, drinking bottled water while in the custody of the Economic and Financial Crime Commission, EFCC. Recall that the former Anambra state governor was nabbed at the Motala Mohammed International Airport, Lagos, as he was preparing to board a flight to Houston, the United States of America. His arrest came hours after he handed over to Governor Charles Saludo in a colorful ceremony in Anambra State. Adenyoju, who shared the video on his Facebook page, accompanied it with a caption that reads, Ex-Anambra Governor in EFCC custody, when you are in power, be careful. Some reactions came below and others have been speaking. Nigerians have been reacting in no small way regarding what they have seen. Have, have they arrested any governor in the northern part of the country? Some have asked, why, also, why always southeast? Isn't it because this man rejected Malami's idea of Im of imposing Andy Ube on Anambra is that not why they have come on him? Are the others free? Someone someone has asked, what of Tinubu? Have they arrested him? Let them allow this man rest, Jare, after eight years in office. Another person said, now so then they do oh, who then catch Naibi Tifo, the tribe now so that they do. Someone else said, can they all say that they can do this to an Hausa man? Is it not the same Malami trying to free Abakiari if he has got a chance but has not found a way out? One day an Igbo man will be an EFCC chairman in this country, God willing. And all the Hausa's governors too, who have stolen and are corrupt, will be dragged. Every thief will be brought to book. Simple. Someone else said, I hate this EFCC. They are being used to chase their enemy and they are just falling for it. I am aware the former, somebody else said, I am aware the former governor is a drunk. I don't know about that. And was a thief. Make EFCC whole and well wet in 2023. You know, so everybody has their opinion as regards to um, who really is. Okay. You know, in life, um, you will have the good, the bad, the ugly. No matter how much you try to, you know, um, get close to people, do your hardest best possible, somehow, somehow, it may not quite sit well with some other people. Some will still not rub off quite well, you see. So it doesn't matter what you do. Some people will still not get it and we still, you know, we still want other things. So however the way is so... Nigeria, we just need good government. We don't tire. We don't tire. We get the same people over and over again. It never tire you. Then the same people coming on us over and over again. Once upon a time, as a country, as a people, we need fresh ideas. Why? Because what we have since has not been working. 
What we have has not been working. Can we have something fresh? Can we have something that can, you know, that can bring a bit of difference and stir us in the right direction? Can we? You know, we've come a long way. We've come a long way. It's still a pity and a shame that we are still experiencing and going through this very rigor of bad governance. And there are no structures, no system in place for accountability, okay, for audits, for those in office, you know, to, to be checked and, you know, and for people to be brought to book and accountability. Go and see other nations of the world. Some nations of the world, you are in power and you embezzle funds or money, you will be dealt with, you'll be treated like a common criminal. But in Nigeria, you are celebrated. Now, that is not a yastic to say anybody who is involved in no form of kind of crime and all that should continue. Because if you do that and you are caught, like where you go face the musical, now so life just be, now who then catch me thief? Mm, like one of our um, pe people said there, who then catch now be thief? You know, so let's come off this, all these things that we do, okay, that does not promote good. It's about time we begin to speak out for justice, truth, and things that will move us forward. I know that things have not been all right. We've gotten bad leaders who have not projected the good, okay, or have not led in a good example. But we can make a difference. Whatever sphere of influence you find yourself, you be the difference. Let me tell you something. People know who is the difference. Someone somewhere knows, okay? And when they want somebody that will tell them the truth, they say, you know that one? If, if, if you like, say what you want to say. She will not be. She will not uh, dance between the bush. She will tell you as it is. Mm, if you like, be angry, but she will tell you. So they know when you are firm. They know when you are when you are uh, when you are not straight. They will know when you are neither here nor there. So where do you stand? People know. They watch it. They see. People are not. And not everybody is blind. You know. No, no. You see. Not everybody is blind. People know. They know those that are honest, truthful. And wants to really make a difference. They know. They see it. So what aspect of it are you really bringing? What are you bringing to the table? Truth? Honesty? Or you want to make a real difference? Whichever side of the line of the divide you find yourself, make it count. Give meaning to life. Give meaning to those around you. Let your impact be felt. So when it's all said, when it's all, when the, when it's all done and dusted, you can turn around and you can say, Yes, once upon a time, but here it is. And people can remember you for something. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Remember, you have a voice. Let's not use our voice for things that are not right. God bless. Bye for now.